Hi guys, this is Jerry. Today I'm going to share with you an energy healing technique that you can use to heal yourself and also heal other people. Now, this is going to take some practice, it's going to take a little bit of discipline for you to be able to bring the energy through in this way and raise the levels of chi inside of your body uh, to such a degree that you're going to be able to have the effect uh, on people's bodies, on people's energy fields that you want to. Now, it's going to take a little bit of patience also because this isn't just something that happens really quickly. It took me a while to master this, uh, lots of meditation, uh, lots of journeying, and eventually I remembered how to do this. The first thing that you're going to do is you can do this standing or sitting. I'm doing this sitting right now just because I'm in front of the camera, but you can do it standing up. You need to have your feet uh, planted firmly on the floor. Okay? Now, if you're inside a house, uh, inside your office, wherever you may be, then you need to visualize your feet being planted firmly onto the earth or onto the sand or onto the seabed, uh, as long as you're connected with nature. And you're going to see coming out of the bottom of your feet really thick roots and they're going to go right down deep into the centre of the earth. That's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to ground yourself. You're going to connect yourself to Mother Earth and allow the chi, the energy, the prana from the earth to come up through these roots and into your body. Okay? Now, we're going to do this um, stage by stage, okay? What we're going to do is we are going to fill our bodies full of chi and allow that chi to come out of our bodies through our hands and to create two bores, two really strong, powerful bores of energy that you can use to heal yourself and to heal other people. Generally, I'll heal people. Uh, the majority of the time, that's what I do, but I have been known to heal the odd horse, the odd dog, here or there, if I'm asked. Generally, it's a favour to a friend, for example. Um, but yeah, generally, I work on people, and this is powerful. So, have your feet planted firmly on the floor. Okay, that's the first thing you're going to do. And now, start to breathe deeply. Right down into the pit of your stomach and then let the oxygen out nice and slow. And you're going to continue to breathe nice and deeply throughout this whole process. Now, with every breath you take, you're going to bring this life force, bring this energy up from the earth, through your feet and into your ankles. What you're going to do is to let the energy build up in your ankles. You're not going to go any further up your body. It's going to stay in your ankles. So you're going to breathe. And as you're breathing, the energy is pouring into your ankles. Bright white light filling up your ankles. And you breathe out slowly. And you breathe in again, filling your ankles up, bringing that energy, bringing that chi from the earth up through your feet and into your ankles. And we're going to take nine breaths, nine long deep breaths, filling up your ankles full of chi. You should start to feel your ankles tingle, start to vibrate. If this is your first time doing this, which it probably will be for, for the majority of you, then you may not feel any vibrations. And if you don't, that's cool. Okay, just keep seeing that light coming into your ankles. Remember I said patience. 
practice makes perfect. You're going to have to be disciplined and patient with this approach. But let me tell you, my friend, once you master this, this is pretty much one of the main things that you need to master. Once you can fill your body with the amount of chi that I'm going to show you uh, how you can fill your body up with, your life's going to change, your energy levels are going to go through the roof. Your capability, your ability to heal yourself and others is going to rock your world, okay, in a massive way, in a profound way. So once you've breathed in nine times and that energy is swirling like a vortex around your ankles, round and round, building and building, getting lighter and brighter and stronger. You're then going to bring your attention or your awareness, should I say, into your knees. You're going to continue to breathe. You're going to allow the flow of energy to come from your ankles up through your shins, up through your calves, and into your knees. And again, they're going to collect. The energy is going to collect inside of your knees. You can have your eyes open or closed, whatever you prefer. As you're moving the energy from your ankles up to your knees and you're seeing it collect in your knees, continue the flow of energy from the earth up through your feet. You need to maintain that flow of energy. Put your intention out there. Say to yourself, say to the universe, I wish to allow this flow of energy to remain strong and constant throughout this entire process. And every now and again you can just check in on it. Just visualize that energy flowing. Again, you're going to take nine breaths, long deep breaths to bring that prana, bring that energy from your ankles up into your knees. As the energy builds inside of your knees, again, see that vortex of energy flowing around your knees, swirling, getting larger, getting brighter, getting stronger. And again, you'll be able to feel your knees tingling, vibrating. And at this point, you should feel your ankles and your knees vibrating. This is extremely powerful. And the flow of energy is continuing from the earth up through your ankles and into your knees. I want you to know, guys, that this, this technique that I'm sharing with you today is an advanced star magic technique. Okay? I learned this technique when I was journeying, when I was meditating, and I was visiting ancient mystery schools in Egypt. I used to go every morning. Um, for about nine months, I spent two hours every morning meditating, me and my son, in these ancient mystery schools learning techniques like this. They're powerful. They've been around for hundreds of thousands if not millions of years and all I've done is remember it and when you start to use this you'll realize that you've known this before too. This isn't something new. Okay? This is something very very old. It's ancient. These techniques have been around since the dawn of time. So practice them and remember them fully. Once you've taken nine breaths and your knees and your ankles are vibrating and that constant stream of energy, you can see the white light, a constant stream up through the bottoms of your feet, <coughs> through your ankles, up through your shins and into your knees. I want you to bring your awareness, your focus, your attention in to your hips, to your buttocks, and your lower abdomen, okay, below your belly button. I want you to focus on this whole, this entire area, 
have your, your entire awareness over this entire area. Not focusing in on one point, but your awareness just spread evenly over the area so you're aware of everywhere. And again, you're going to bring the light from your knees up through your hamstrings, through your thighs, into your hips, into your buttocks, your glutes, your lower abdomen, your genitalia. Feel that whole area fill full of white light and collect. If you're not already, at this point you're going to start to feel hot or you're going to start to feel freezing cold, one of the two. Right now my body is on fire, but sometimes I do go cold, it just depends on the situation. Heat and cold, uh, the, the other end of the scale, uh, 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 means healing is taking place. Okay, you're, you're changing the chi, the prana inside of your body and you're creating an environment where you can heal. And healing is taking place. So, nine more deep breaths. Seeing the flow of energy coming from the earth, swirling around your ankles, coming up through your calves and your shins and into your knees. The vortex inside of your knees spinning around and then moving that energy up your thighs and your hamstrings and into your buttocks, your hips, your genitals, and your lower abdomen. Once you've taken your nine breaths and this lower area is completely full, a huge vortex of light swirling around your abdomen. And this is important, which I haven't mentioned yet, it's swirling in a clockwise direction. The energy in your knees, the energy in your ankles should be swirling in a clockwise direction. Very, very important. You're now going to bring your awareness into your navel area, behind your belly button, your stomach, and your lower back. And you're going to start to see the light move from your hips, up your body and into your navel, into your lower back, your kidneys all around this area. And again, nine deep breaths, seeing and being aware of every vortex that you've just created, both knees, both ankles, your lower abdomen, hips, etc. Those vortexes are shining bright, swirling fast, and the constant stream of energy from the earth up through your legs, all the way in to your navel is continuing to flow. Again, nine deep breaths.
Now at this point my hands are starting to vibrate and tingle like crazy. Depending on how good your third eyesight is, you can probably see the energy streaming out of my hands right now because I'm telling you it's strong. And I haven't even brought my awareness really into my hands. They just started to tingle because I've done this so many times and the end result is two really big balls of chi energy, star magic energy contained inside your hands, a ball on the outside of your hands ready to use, ready to, to send, to bring inside of yourself, whatever you want to do with it. And my hands have just started, they're on fire right now, they are tingling like crazy. So once you've taken your nine breaths, I want you to bring your awareness to your crown chakra. And I want you to see a stream of light coming down from space, down from the central sun. Just picture a sun, a great big beautiful white ball of light out in space and see a stream of energy coming from that, from that ball of energy, from that planet, from the central sun coming down through the sky, all the way down into your crown chakra. And see that energy move into the center of your brain where your pineal gland is. And then start to see the whole inside of your head fill with white light. And again, take nine long, deep breaths right down to the pit of your stomach and see this entire area fill up with a vortex of bright light energy. Once you've taken your nine breaths and the inside of your head is completely full with this vortex of white light, I want you to bring your awareness into your throat and see the energy continuing to flow down from space, through your crown chakra, down through your pineal glands and into your throat where another vortex of energy is going to be created. Again, take nine long deep breaths. If you've been counting my breaths, you'll know that I haven't stuck to nine on each of these exercises or each of these parts of this particular exercise. The reason being well, there's two reasons. Number one, so you don't have to wait around for me. And number two, I've actually reached a stage now where I don't need to go through this whole ritual to be able to get to the stage where I need to get to. I can just uh, feel it, know it, and put my intention there using star magic and the formula uh, that, that I share with everyone that comes to my courses. You can instantly ignite this powerful energy inside of yourself. But for you, you're probably seeing this for the first time. So 
it's important that you go through this process. It may take you a week, it may take you three or four months to be able to master this. Just be patient with yourself, but please, watch this video as many times as you want and remember this. I don't like to use the word learn because there's nothing that I can teach you, okay? We're equal. I'm not your teacher. I'm no guru. Um, all I'm doing is sharing knowledge that's available to everyone that I just happen to have been in the right place at the right time on my journeys to remember and I was fortunate enough to have some incredible spirit guides that that led me on this incredible path of remembering star magic. So you're not learning anything today, you're just remembering. It's important. And it's also important that you don't believe anything that comes out of my mouth. Feel the words that I share with you, practice these techniques, and then know at a deep root cellular level, at the core, within your soul, that this is right for you and that you know this. Don't believe it. Don't believe anyone anything ever tells you. And don't even believe the thoughts that are inside of your own head. Once you've taken nine breaths and your throat is swirling like a vortex, bring your awareness to your heart, your sternum, your heart chakra, and then move the energy from your throat, from that vortex into your heart. Take nine long deep breaths and create the vortex inside of your heart. Continue to see the energy flowing from the earth all the way up through the lower half of your body and coming down from space through your crown chakra and down into your heart. Even though I've reached a stage where I don't need to go through this ritual every time, I still come back to it now and again, maybe every month or maybe every six or seven weeks. I'll come back and I'll spend two or three days and on those two or three days, once each day, I'll go through this whole ritual just to reconnect thoroughly and properly and just ensure that I'm leaving no stone unturned. So once your heart chakra is swirling clockwise, there's a huge bright white vortex flowing around. You'll notice that there's a gap between your navel and your heart. Now this is important, I want you to slowly bring the energies together from your navel and your heart. Move them both at the same time towards each other. Continue to breathe as you do. And once they meet, they just ignite. They become so bright, brighter than the brightest star in the night sky, that it's actually very difficult to, to look at it. You can observe it with your mind's eye, but to put the attention of your physical eyes onto it, it's actually a blinding. It's that bright. I mean, even with my eyes closed now, if I look down towards this light, you know, through my body, this light is, is, is sore on my eyes. So I'm using my third eye to, to allow these energies to merge. And once they've merged in the center of your body, you're going to see a large vortex swirling round clockwise. Absolutely massive, crazy powerful.
and I want you to continue to breathe. This time you're going to take 11 long, deep breaths as you let this vortex flow, bang in the center of your body. Now the next thing you're going to do, as this vortex grows and grows, you're going to see this energy expanding up through your body, up through your throat, your head, until your entire body is one gigantic powerful vortex. From there, you're going to start to move the energy into your shoulders, down through your arms. See the energy flowing through your veins, through every cell, growing stronger and stronger as it moves past your elbows, up through your wrists. And it starts to collect inside your hands. Your hands start to grow brighter and brighter and brighter, stronger and stronger, even more powerful, getting hotter and hotter. And the energy starts to, to become so powerful that you can't fit any more chi into your hands. And then when you get to that point, just continue to pump, continue to See that energy growing and expanding and pushing into your hands further and further and further. And then when you're ready, just bring that energy through your hands and into the palms of your hands. And once they're in the palms of your hands, you can see them. They're absolutely stunning, absolutely beautiful. And you can use this energy on yourself you can use it for distant sealing. You can use it to sprinkle love, light, energy over a particular house, city, town, location. These balls of energy are seriously, seriously powerful. I mean, if you just want to spend a minute now, feel this energy. Close your eyes and become aware of your entire body and feel this energy entering you right now. Healing is a two-way process, so whoever you're going to heal, it's important to wait for them to ask you, or if you're going to offer your healing, make sure that they really want to be healed. Ask their higher self. Communicate with them on a spiritual level and ensure that it's for the greatest good for them, for you, and for the greatest good growth of the universe as a whole. By you watching this video, you're accepting this energy. And if you didn't want to accept this energy, you'd simply press stop or you just shut yourself down and say to yourself, I don't accept this energy. 
and by you putting your intention there, you're going to stop the flow of energy from me to you. But if you want to accept this healing, just continue to breathe, open yourself fully and allow this healing to take place. If you want to know how I discovered star magic, then go to my website. It's thefacilitatorhealing.com. There's videos on there. There's the account of my spiritual awakening, how it all happened, how it took place. There's free meditations. There's a whole heap of resources that you can use to enable yourself to live your life at a level of extraordinary and beyond. You deserve to be bouncing around every day like a little child, full of energy, full of love, full of happiness, with a sparkle in your eye. And that's my mission, to heal one billion people on this planet. And I'm going to do that. Star magic is the key to not only healing ourselves, but healing the entire planet. So I hope you'll practice this technique and share it with your friends, share it with your family, your loved ones. The more we share, the better. I love you with my heart, with my soul, with every fiber of my entire being. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel now and keep up to date with all the latest healing videos, motivational videos, uh, meditation videos, and please share them with your friends and family, your loved ones, share them on social media. The more we share messages like this and people start to know that they can heal themselves and really and truthfully that they're powerful. We're all powerful. No one is any different from anyone else. Just because I've remembered star magic, it doesn't mean I'm any different from you. It doesn't mean that I'm better, stronger, wiser, any of that stuff. They're just words, just labels, okay? I am a human being. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience, just like you. And we need to stick together. We need to open our hearts and spread the love, spread the compassion, and unify as a global community that lives their lives with love, with compassion. And we share this beautiful star magic energy and use it to make this world a better place. A world where the planet's resources are shared equally between all men, women and children. Okay, you could just walk down, the sh walk down to, 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 to the next tree and pick some lemons or some apples. Or go and exchange some potatoes for a personal training session in the gym. Okay, this is, the way, this is where we need to take the world to. And this is where the world is going to come back to. Okay, it's unfolding before our very eyes. But we can speed up the process by sharing this beautiful energy. Sharing these videos, sharing the knowledge and wisdom that each other have remembered. If you've got anything that you feel uh, you want to share with me, email me. Okay, go to my website, thefacilitatorhealing.com, send me a message, okay? I love remembering information, okay? I love it. I love sharing, so let's share, okay? Again, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I love you with my heart and soul, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you.